Hello, everybody. My name is Raquel Martinez. Sorry, I'm so close to the microphone. I just, I don't know. It's, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the School to Home Productions. My name is Raquel Martinez, and this is my partner, Victoria Ayala. And today we're going to be talking about affordable internet. All right, so what are today's objectives? Uh, today's objectives are to provide affordable internet options to all of our families, explore internet options, and rank the best options for you. Just in case you're wondering, why am I here? Hey, we're going we're gonna to guide you through this. We're going to get through this together. So this is our school to home team, as we just mentioned. Um, I am Victoria, the parent training lead. This is Raquel Martinez, the affordable internet lead. And we have Mr. Arroyo, who's a teacher training lead. Miss Janet Mejia, who's a student training lead. Mr. Ricardo Ramos, our tech lead, and Ms. Yumi Kawasaki, our administrative lead. If you ever come on campus and you see any of these people on campus, we're all trained to help you. Yes. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, as always, you can feel free to contact me um, or I will relay the message to any other person in our team as well. I am the parent training lead, so these are specifically geared towards you. Um, you can email me at victoria.ayala at lausd.net or send me a text message at 323-546-9332 and I will get to you as soon as I can. All right, so let's begin with a little background information on how school to home or just like how this affordable broadband came to be. So as you already know, because of the pandemic, we have faced a new style of living. So from home and work to our children's education, we are all learning different ways to navigate through this new norm. As an organization, School to Home seeks to provide our families with the resources they need to help their students transition from learning in the classroom to successfully learning at home, starting with affordable broadband. So this whole presentation is just based on low internet for all of you and where you're no not cost. being charged or or no cause and where you're not being charged ridiculous amounts just so you can have internet. All right, so how to qualify for affordable internet? In order to get low cost internet, one of the following needs to apply to you. So you either have to be low income, which is your household makes below 49,000, live in public housing, have a student in school K through 12 or in college, participate in the free school lunch program. Luckily, Markham Middle School is the whole school is a free school lunch program school. So you don't have to worry whether there are some people who don't, uh, who make a little more money than low income. This whole school is under the umbrella of the free lunch program. Uh, also have CalFresh or CalWorks, which is food stamps. Um, participate in the SSI, Supplemental Security Income, which is for disabled children, adults, and elderly over 65. Have Medi-Cal or Medicaid, WIC, or a student in the Head Start program, which is little kids. Yeah, so depending on the internet services, you either need one or a couple in order to qualify. But any of these will qualify you. So... Miss Martinez, Miss Raquel, how do I know what internet service? I'm Miss Martinez. Um, how do I know what internet options are available to me? Well, if you click on this link, it'll only ask you to input your address or your zip code. I don't remember which one. And it will give you a list of companies that service your area. And it's not only available to you, but if you have any friends or families who are just wondering what is available to me, Anyone can use this link. Yep. You just put in your zip code and it gives you all of your options. But the we're not going to make you go through that. That's why you're here. You're here to know what are your options. Luckily, me and Ms. Victoria went through all of these resources for many hours and we finally figured it <laughs> out. What is the best resources for our families? Option one is the Emergency Broadband Benefit, or the EBB. The EBB program is a Federal Communications Commission program that provides a temporary discount on monthly broadband bills for qualifying low-income households. So if your house is eligible, you can receive up to a $50 discount on your internet service and associated equipment rentals, up to $75 a month discount if your household is on qualifying tribal lands, which is Native American lands, a one-time discount for a laptop, tablet, or desktop computer, 
with the co-payment of between $10 to $50. They work with companies like AT&T, Verizon, Spectrum, T-Mobile, and others. You just have to contact your internet provider and ask if the EBB is available to you. But keep in mind, AT&T is not one of the companies that services our areas, unfortunately. And also keep in mind, documentation needs to be provided in order to qualify. So, for example, let's say Ms. Linda out there has Verizon and her bill was $150 this month. You can call them and be like, hey, do you have the EBB or the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program? And they're going to say either yes or no. If they say yes, you are in luck because they're going to just ask you a couple of questions, some documentation, and guess what? Your bill, instead of being $150, is now $100. That's a lot. Whew. It a but it makes a difference, okay? And the great thing about this program is that it has been updated. So last year, it was only one, one time per household, but now you can literally qualify every month. And not a lot of people know about this resource, yeah. so you can like continue to keep using it every month. Woo. Option two is Human IT. Uh, Human IT provides internet for fifteen dollars a month, um, and you can also get low-cost technology devices like laptops or tablets from them because they are refurbished. So that means that they take old devices fix them and sell them for way cheaper than they would have originally cost. Human IT believes whether you're not connected or you're paying too much for internet access, Human IT is here to help you get online at a price you can afford. They'll help you navigate reduced rate programs at no cost. And if you're outside the range of those services, which is with them, they'll help you get set up with a mobile hotspot to ensure everyone has reliable access to the web. So basically they will do all the work for you. You just fill out a form and they will have their team contact you and identify the best options for you. Option three, which would be Spectrum or Charter. So with them, you Spectrum makes it simple for qualifying households to sign up for low internet access, which includes free internet modem, which would be the box, high internet speeds of 30 Mbps, no data caps, no contracts, option of in-home Wi-Fi for $5 a month, and you can cancel any time. You will need a Spectrum account, so either you need to have an existing account or if you create a new account with them, this is all available to you. Just make sure you're asking them for low-income assistance. I would just ask that right off the bat because let's say you sign up and then this doesn't exist. We don't want you to get stuck, so just be like, hey, do you have low-cost internet for families in need? They'll tell you yes or no. If they say no, that's your that's your chance to dip. Just just <laughs> don't come back. <laughs> just just go. We have other options for you. Yep. Also keep in mind all the links that we're showing in this video, we actually are gonna have a link under the video on our page where you can click and you can explore each one either by scanning a QR code or clicking the link itself. Option four. Option four is the ITD Information Technology Division with LAUSD. So this is every student connected. The LAUSD is working to ensure every student and an employee has access to internet connectivity needed for high quality teaching and learning. We are exploring device and connectivity needs to provide the right solution for every student, every educator, and every family. Please let us know how we can best support your child by completing the parent acknowledgement and device connectivity request form. This resource, which is a brand new one that we just got, is one of the better options because we will be the ones directly helping you fill out the um, device.lausd.net request form. This form, um, you have to fill it out through Parent Portal. So you have to make sure that you have a Parent Portal account, but you can always, like I said, contact any of us and we will sit down with you to do it step by step and try to get you free, if not close to free, internet for your LAUSD students. Now, we are going to rank these resources for you, but if you've been here and you paid attention, <laughs> like especially in the previous slide, you already know who the clear winners are. Um, obviously, we can't count, so we said that number one <laughs> is the human IT. We completely lied. We're going to definitely, just in this occasion, we're going to rank the LAUSD one as number one. Um, it was a very close call. These are very both really good resources. 
the great thing about these resources is that they both will do the work for you and all you have to do is fill out forms. However, the only reason we rank the LAUSD one before human IT is because we're, we're helping you through the process. It is us and your child already goes to LAUSD. And LAUSD might, we don't know yet. We're gonna, as, as time goes by, we'll probably figure this out, but LAUSD might have the better competitive options in comparison to human IT. Because I'm pretty sure human IT is gonna do what we've done before, just give you the resources um, and then help you navigate. But the LAUSD one seems like the better option because it's zero to low cost internet and they do most of the work. Well, we, we are LAUSD. We'll do most of the work for you. And remember, the only thing you need to do is have a parent portal. That's it. Parent and I portal. Help you get that if you don't already have She'll it. help you. No documentation needed. No <laughs> proof of anything. Just maybe that your kid goes to an LAUSD school. Exactly. You just need parent portal. Just parent portal. Simple as that. Simple. That's why we rank that one number one. <laughs> All right. So, as always, questions or comments, feel free to contact us. My information is below again. Um, we recommend sending a text message in case I am assisting another parent or in a meeting or something like that. Uh, my number is 323-546-9332. And you can also feel free to email me with any inquiries at victoria.ayala.lausd.net. Hello everyone, just coming in with a new exit ticket for spring semester for you all to fill out so that we can give you credit for having finished this training. As we said before, all you have to do is scan this QR code here with your smartphone or on webqr.com or you can go straight to newmarkham.com slash S2H. There you will see our sub menu which says exit tickets. You want to click and go to workshop to affordable internet. You just click that link and it's going to take you straight to our exit ticket, which is a short survey that you fill out to let us know what you've learned and how we can better serve you through these technology trainings. Our next workshop is going to be Wednesday, March 16, 2022 at 9 a.m. on Zoom. Again, if you can't make this workshop, you can always do it on your own time because we have the recorded videos up on the Skoda homepage of the Markham website. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Have a good one.